my first forage of the season. Spring is arriving a little early in our corner and I have been picking these cottonwood buds. They grow down here by the river and I was fortunate enough to find a beaver chew tree, a tree that had been um, cut down by the beavers and so I was able to harvest these buds very, very easily. And I just pinched them off right there. It's the most, wonder most wonderful time of the year. Cottonwood bud resin stained fingers. A gorgeous day. This is the first day that it's been uh, 50 degrees. Feels so nice. Anyway, I'm going to fill up my bucket and then we'll go make some medicine. Hello, hello. Thanks for being here. Welcome to my Makers Podcast. Today's episode is going to be all about cottonwood buds. This is going to be just a medicinal video podcast or vlog or whatever, he, whatever you want to call it, but it's going to be just focused on herbal medicine today. My name is Dacia and I am the person behind all things Simply Josephine. I have a small batch apothecary, I make soap, and I do some sewing. And it is springtime in my corner of Montana, so I am all about the cottonwood buds. I get so excited for this time of year because I've gone a long time without wild crafting anything except for maybe a few juniper berries or conifer needles. So I'm always ready to get out in the sunshine and the fresh air. And now we're past daylight savings, so it's light way into the evening and there's plenty of time to get out um, before the sun goes down, because once the sun goes down, it gets cold. But um, we've had some beautiful, some beautiful days, um, lots of sun and lots of chilly nights and those are the best times to pick the buds. When you, so I'm going to talk about how you can tell that it's time to pick the buds. So the cottonwood, a cottonwood is a deciduous tree. It grows, um, there's tons of different varieties. They all have heart-shaped leaves. They grow, they like moisture, they like water, they like um, river and creek beds, and um, they're, they don't live a whole, they don't live a really long time, and they can get kind of weakened too. So if there's a big windstorm, sometimes the larger limbs will fall down to the ground and that's usually what I am looking for in um, in the cottonwood buds because the bigger buds that are up top are then on the ground because if you're up against the tree sometimes it's hard to get a lot of the buds um, the bigger buds anyway um, the small ones they infuse up just fine you just have to spend more time picking uh, I we had a bunch of wind and a tree fell down not far away from my house and I was able to um, collect a lot of buds off that. It wasn't a very big tree, but all of the buds were exposed. So it was easy to get in there and pick. And so I brought a couple branches back to show you what the cottonwood bud looks like. So how you can tell that they are ready to pick is you want to just lightly pull the bud off and just sort of smish smish it around between your fingers and see that resin there and it's very very resinous and it smells wonderful just wonderful and so once you see the sticky resin and if it comes out on your fingers then they are ready to pick 
And the window to pick cottonwood buds is very, very small. It's really only a few weeks before they'll be opening up. And once they start to open, then you've you've missed your you've missed your window of opportunity. So I'm just gonna pull these off here. And it's sticky. Some people wear gloves. I don't. I just pick them and then when I come home, I um, wash my hands with soap, which doesn't work very well with the resin. <laughs> and then I use rubbing alcohol. Rubbing alcohol takes all of the resin off your hands pr pretty quickly. And so that that is what I do. And then I usually kind of scatter my buds out a little bit and kind of look them over and decide what I'm going to do. Pull off any um, bark pieces or if there's any other little things. Because we want it just mostly to be the buds. And typically, rule of thumb, I do about, you know, one part buds to three parts oil. So that's about a third, you know, in there. So I'll go with that. And once I get the buds in here, I pour, I infuse them in oil. I infuse the cottonwood buds in the oil, in all, both olive oil and avocado oil, because this makes a fantastic body oil for herbal body oiling. Just head to toe body oiling with this cottonwood bud oil. It's so relaxing and you're just wrapping yourself in the tree medicine. It feels, it feels so good. And then I also infuse several jars, gallon jars with olive oil for herbal salve making. And I also offer a cottonwood bud tallow soap bar that is actually probably my favorite soap bar that I make. It's very nice. And then I also have some plans to make a cottonwood bud whipped tallow balm for, for your skin. I will probably use the avocado oil for that. So today I'm gonna to be infusing two, two gallons, one of olive, one of avocado. And I have two already that I've had infusing for a few weeks here. And as you can see, they are so, so dark. You can barely see through that. We will stir these too in a little while. Here, oh, I meant to grab a paper towel. One moment. Once you have your um, buds in the jar, now I live in a very dry climate. If I lived in a very moist climate, you obviously want a wild crap on a dry day, preferably in the heat of the sun and when some of the resin has loosened up a little bit. And then you, so I just let mine sit overnight and then put them in the jar. But like I said, if I were in a very humid, climate, I might put them out on a tray and kind of inspect them and feel them for a day or two because you don't want them to have an, um, a bunch of moisture in them because oil and water don't mix well. You could end up potentially with a moldy mess. And so to avoid that, just you, you'll just have to use your own imagination and your own, you know, decide yourself what you think will work or not. And so once these are ready to go, I just get the olive oil and I like to just use the regular olive oil from Costco and just slowly pour, well this will take all of that so I'll just go ahead and do that. And um, cottonwood salve is really, really nice for all kinds of things. It works really well to relieve muscle and joint pain. It makes um, a one, it's antimicrobial, so it makes a nice 
um, salve to put on cuts, scrapes, burns, minor cuts, scrapes, and burns. And um, one time I had a really bad sunburn and I put it on the sunburn and it just took the pain away so quickly. So it's wonderful salve to have on hand for anything like that. Cuts, scrapes, burns, sore muscles, sore joints, arth um, if you suffer from arthritis, it would definitely be worth investigating. And I'll just set this down there and deal with that a little later. And I typically allow my oil to infuse for a few months. But six weeks is the rule of thumb. It's kind of like a tincture, you know. Six weeks is the bare minimum. The longer you can wait, the better it will be. And this will not take very long for, oh, that's something else. Um, this won't take very long for this to turn red. But when you start off with the oil, you don't want to fill it too much oil up because all of these buds are going to rise up to the top and then they're going to expand. So if you fill the oil up too far, you'll this will overflow and make a big mess. So that is typically what I what I do and then once things are stirred down after a while, you can use your own discretion and decide whether or not to add more oil to it. I typically do. So I like to use um, a like a shish kebab stick to stir it and then just throw it away or just throw it in the wood stove actually is what I do I just throw it in the stove and because anything that you put in here to stir is going to be covered in resin which leads me back around to cotton wood bud Equipment is cottonwood bud equipment because the resin gets all over the jars. I have my cottonwood bud jars and I get the resin off the best that I can with the rubbing alcohol, but it's still impossible to get it all out. So you, um, whatever you end up using for the cottonwood bud equipment, just know that that's what it will be. So that's why I use the shish kebab stick. I just stir everything that I need to stir, and then I throw, throw it in the wood stove. So, now that we've gotten these in here, I'm just going to give this a good, a good stir here. Get all those buds whizzing around, and then just kind of tap that off. I'm going to set that there because we're going to fill up that jar next with the avocado oil. And then I like to use a breathable top over my jars. This is a pretty important piece in infusing, making an herbal infused oil. You don't want to cap it um, and put it away and forget about it, otherwise you'll end up with some funky things. So I put a breathable top and then I stir it very often, sometimes daily, but at least every other or every third day for sure, with um, until all the plant material goes to the bottom. As you can see here, this plant material has not gone to the bottom yet, and we will be stirring these in a moment, but that cottonwood is still up there. So until all of these buds sink to the bottom, I'm not going to forget about this. And also, once all the plant material is to the bottom, you can cap it if you want to. I typically do not. When this is ready to strain, I'll strain it and then, then put the strained oil into another glass jar if I need to stir it, if it's not all being used into soap or salve or body oil. So once this is there, you'll want to get a rubber band and a piece of cloth. You can use cheesecloth. I um, sew a lot, so I've got fabric scraps everywhere, so that's why I'm using the fabric scraps. 
And then the other really important thing is to label, label, and date. You want to make sure you write everything down because you won't remember. And it's just good to know what what's in it so i put cottonwood buds i put olive oil and then i'm also going to put the date which is the 19th that's another pretty important factor too and then too you'll have these dates um you can even write them down elsewhere and then you'll know about what it's kind of nice to look back year after year and see on what days you were doing what Montana is so different in weather and spring, you know, and spring can come in March or spring can come in May. You don't really know. So anyway, there is that. So this is the cottonwood buds in olive oil. And let's see, today's the 19th and this is the 9th. So I infused this oil on the 9th. And as you can see, it's picked up a lot of color. So now that I have my stick out that I'm creating with, I'm going to go back and stir this because as you can see, all of those buds have come up to the top there. So this is how much this expands. And it hasn't flown over yet, but that's why you want to make sure you have a little safety net there because they'll just keep expanding and expanding. So I just put my stick down in there and just start stirring. And you kind of loosen, loosen up the buds and then you get it going there. This smell is divine. But as you can see, the resin is there on the stick. So if you, you wouldn't want to use like your regular kitchen equipment for this. Because it's going to literally be dripping in resin by the time we finish all of these. Alrighty. Isn't that nice? And then I'll just put the, the cloth back on there and then I'll stir that again in a few more days. See how we're doing. These will go back on the shelf for now. Cottonwood bud picking is kind of like an herbal rite of passage, so to speak, because you cannot buy cottonwood buds really anywhere. It's not like, um, you know, echinacea root. You can buy your echinacea root and you can make your tincture, you know, any time of the year. Whereas the cottonwood buds are not like that. They are not available for purchase. So it's something that you have to do yourself. You have to go pick the buds and you have to make your, make your oil. Get that ready to go back. Also, too, um, if you... Are allergic to aspirin you might want to cautiously use cottonwood buds which is a very very small portion of people but it does exist so um, because it contains the same um, salicin that's in um, aspirin willow willow bark so you want to um, proceed with caution if that's your if that's your thing and if you are very allergic, you might just want to avoid it altogether. And so let's see. Next, I'm moving on to the avocado oil. Now I've got that aside for soap and salve. And then now we have the avocado oil going in here. This is why I got that paper towel. And it's the same thing. You just don't want to fill it up too full. In fact, I don't have enough buds to go up, so I'll probably only infuse this up to here anyway because I um, want to save a little bit, a little bit more room there. 
I love the body oil. It's so nice for, it's really nice on your face or your whole body just to do, even with limp moving in the certain areas. Um, it's excellent, excellent for that. Head to toe, and plus it also has the pain relieving quality. So it makes it really nice for getting in there and working really hard on massage, massaging really sore, tired muscles. I'll go ahead and put that in there. I think I'll probably just use, I'll just use all I got. <laughs> yeah, so I have in a previous episode, I think, I'm not sure which episode it is. I'm thinking it's episode three, but I'm not sure. I will link to it in the description box. And in that episode, I make a salve. I go through the whole process from start to finish on how to make a salve. I'm not going to make a salve on this video because I've already done it and I'll just direct you to that for the salve making aspect. And yeah, so I think that about, that is about the end here. I didn't have enough avocado oil there, obviously. I'll have to try to pick up some more avocado oil for that, and I'll just add that to it. So, I'll get that all stirred up. And then I have one more here to stir. And then those will all go back over out of direct sunlight. The sun really can break down oils. I don't like to put my oils in the sun and I also don't like to heat my oils. Now, lots of people do things very differently. Lots of people put them in the sun, lots of people heat their oils. And um, I just don't like to do that. I feel it breaks the oil down too quickly and um, can just go rancid quicker and I don't I don't like that so that's why I do this really slow process I don't want to just you know pick the buds and make a salve all in the same week but I'm sure there's lots of videos on that if that's how you how you want to go about it for sure but anyway this is how I do it and this is the body oil and this is going to be strained and available in the shop here shortly probably by the time i get this video edited and uploaded and out there for you all it will be listed in the shop by then i'm sure yeah so anyway i think that is about wrapping it up my name is dacia i am the person behind everything is simply josephine um, Simply Josephine is my name on Instagram. That's where I am most active in the social media realm. And at simplyjosephine.com, you can find all of my offerings there along with my blog and uh, a few other little things to connect to. So anyway, thanks for being here. Have a wonderful spring and enjoy the sunshine and the fabulous cottonwood bud medicine that briefly, briefly blesses us here in the early, early spring. Bye.